Hey guys, so this is the look we're going for today. Uh, it's going to be a full face look, eyes to, to lips, finishing up, everything on camera. Um, I'm also going to talk through as much as I can. Uh, but this is a, I'm going to call it high maintenance at the drugstore situation, or high maintenance from the drugstore. The reason why is because there can be a, a misconception that if you're buying your makeup from the drugstore, you might have to sacrifice something. You might not, can't go full coverage, high glam. I know, y'all probably be like, Candace, don't nobody think that, but people do. Um... Full Instagram makeup with carved out brows and, and, and highlight contour and all that type of stuff from the drugstore. And you definitely can. So this look is done with 100% drugstore products. But it is definitely high maintenance. It is definitely a lot of steps. And it is definitely not for the people who only got five minutes. I'm just telling you that now. But I just wanted to show you like pulling my drugstore products and their capabilities. And they can hold their own. So if you want to know... How we got this glam, just keep on watching. Alright guys, so all I have on my face is my moisturizer, daily things, and my brows. Um, just for sake of time, I didn't do them on camera. Uh, but what I use, <clears throat> on a regular, I usually use my Anastasia Beverly Hills dip brow for the high maintenance brow. Um, but uh, the one I use today, Drugstore NYX Tame and Frame uh, Tinted Brow Pomade. I'm in the shade Espresso. Well, this is the shade I use, rather. Um, it's a close, close comparison to chocolate, but it works just as great. Um, it's a little wetter than Dip Brow. Dip Brow's a little stiffer than this one, but yeah, anyway. <laughs> um, I carve up my brows with concealer. I usually use MAC Studio Finish simply because I'm trying to use it up. But for today, we went with um, the e.l.f. Complete Coverage Concealer. I actually got, went through two of these carving out my brows back in the day. Um, and this is this dark, it's a, this, a concealer palette. And this is the dark one. And I use this and this combination to carve out the brows of course we're setting brows with the elf brow gel yes all right so i have everything laid out um let's get started we're gonna start with the eyes i'm gonna do this like talk through and both eyes same time real real talk let's zoom in my face. Alright, so the eye primer that I'm going to use is the Maybelline New York Master Prime. <clears throat> I actually been playing around with this primer for the sake of this video. I knew I wanted to do this video. And out of my other drugstore primers, this one, it it leaves that stickiness like the Urban Decay Primer Potion. And it also is a little bit uh, tinted, if you will. Well, you can see. Um, and it doesn't sheer out like to nothing. I don't know. I can see it a little bit. If that makes any sense. Um, it has a good tackiness. Not that tacky, but a good semi-tacky finish that I'm looking for when I do my eyes. Okay. So, for this look... Ooh! Did I get an eyelash in my eye? So, for this look, I definitely wanted to bring out... Like, this was the inspiration to do a whole drugstore glam look. These palettes from Milani, uh, they're Bold Obsessions palettes. Um, I have the matte one, which is Most Love Mattes number one. As well as the Bold, of, um, Bold Obsessions, which is a combination of matte and shimmer. Um, and I'm going to use both. The shades, the shades do have names. Um... The shades do have names. They're broken up into like little quads on the back, but I'm just gonna go. I'm just gonna go all over the place with them. Um, this look is not gonna be anything unique. It's gonna be a classic warm glam look that I love. But just to show you how you can get that classic high maintenance warm glam from the drugstore. So I'm gonna go into the matte shades, and I'm gonna take uh, these two. Um, let me just give you the names. We have Catch a Tan and Hiking in Sedona. Uh, these two here on the end, and I'm going to put those in the crease. I'm going to put down Catch a Tan first, and then I get in Sedona um, second. So I'm going to take a fluffy brush and apply those to the crease. Then to add a little more definition, I'm going to go into the Bold Obsessions one and take this uh, shade, Brunettes Have Fun, 
deep brown, chocolate brown, and I'm going to define my crease area a little bit more. I'm not going to pull it all the way over, but... <laughs> All right, and then I'm excited. We're going to go into um, this lovely gold right in the middle here called Gold Getter. Because, yeah. And I'm going to pop that all over the lid. I'm going to put it pretty heavy. You don't have to pack it on, like, for pigment purposes. But I am in love with it, and I'm going to overdo it. Okay, and now for, i got some fallout, but now for a more metallic, like, sheen, you do not have to do this. Um, I'm going to use it wet, right over top of the dry. And it's really going to add that metallic um, sheen to the shade. Just like that. Go ahead and blend back out. Now, as you can see, I went ahead and did it. Ooh, fallout. That shade is really um like loosely pressed. It's more of like a pressed pigment than a shadow. But anyway, as you can see, I took more of that deep chocolate brown and I went ahead in the outer corner area went ahead in the outer corner area and I'm gonna do that to the other eye the same process So for let me see. So for brow highlight, I'm actually gonna take a little bit of the next door neighbor shade, which is called Sands of Time, um, and highlight my brow with it. Oh, it's intense. Didn't mean to do that much. I didn't mean to do it. I didn't mean to do it. I didn't mean to do it that 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 much. Goes to show that I don't practice all the looks before I do them. So I really blended that brow highlight out because after looking at it, I didn't like it. But whatever, we're going to keep going. Um, going to keep going. Anyway, um, I want a wing. I want a wing because, yeah, we're going hella glam here. Um, so I'm going to use my tape. Alright, and one of my favorite drugstore liquid liners uh, is the Wet n Wild H2O proof. Um, yeah, it's waterproof. It's not moving anywhere. And we're going to go ahead and do a wing. Yeah. Okay, so I applied my wings. Here we go. And uh, I curled my lashes. Now I'm going to apply some mascara. And uh, with this look, we want big, bold lashes. Again, high maintenance. I am going to apply falsies. If you're not a falsies person, uh, big, bold lashes. Voluminous Carbon Black by L'Oreal. Really good for that black, black, huge lash effect. So, um... Yeah. 
Now, if you want to go with lashes, uh, big and bold, I am using the Grand Glamour um, style of lashes by Eyelore, the Vegas Knee um, collection. And these are what they look like. This one already has glue on it. Grand Glamour. So I'm going to go ahead and apply my lashes. Um, so while... <laughs> So while our lashes are drying, because this one's giving me some trouble, I'm going to apply some black liner. Um, actually, this is a shadow stick, but they make really good liners as well. This is the Milani Shadow Eyes 12-Hour Eyeshadow. It's in the shade Black Ink. It's a chunky eye pencil, but I'm actually going to use it in my waterline. And believe it or not, I haven't worn black eyeliner in a very long time. Okay, so this look is definitely going to be a little bit smoky. Or a lot smoky, depending on how you look at it. And with that being said, I'm going to take my pencil brush. This is from Sonia Kashuk. And I'm going to go back into our Bold Obsessions palette. And we're going to go into this deep chocolate brown. And I'm going to smudge my black liner with it. So now, we're going to move on to the face. <laughs> Alright, so I'm just going to take my wipe and wipe away any fallout or smudges or any, uh, any of that good stuff, y'all know. Alright, so who says you can't color correct from the drugstore? We're going to color correct these dark circles. Yeah. Um, and what I'm going to use is the NYX Conceal, Correct, and Contour Kit. Now, you can use your color correction before or after primer. I'm going to do it after primer, so I'm going to prime. This is the Rimmel Stay Matte Mattifying Primer. It's the best drugstore primer for oily skin. Period. 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 My primer... Alright, so the Conceal Correct Contour Kit, this is the sh uh, shade Deep. They have three of these. Um, and I'm going to go in with this orange shade with my, where's my ring finger? With my finger, warm it up in the palette. It's a thicker cream. Um, it's orange PG shade. And I'm going to place that on these dark, this dark little cavern right there. Just like that. And I'm going to take my finger and I'm going to go ahead and blend that as best as I can. And once I have it blended as best as I can, I'm going to go ahead and use a brush. I'm going to use this Real Techniques. This is actually from their color correcting kit. They have a color correcting set of brushes. Um, I use them for a mixture of everything, not just color correcting, but... Blend that out. All right, and I'm going to set this with a little bit of my makeup, not makeup, <laughs> my Black Radiance powder, just a little bit. This is the Black Radiance um, Soft Focus Finishing Powder and Golden Almond Finish. Um, I'm just going to set that a little bit. It's, it's the yellow version. We're about to cover with foundation, but I just want to set it with something, and this is what I have. That's what I wanted to set it with. Alright, on to foundation. One of my favorite parts. I am going to use the Maybelline Superstay 24 Hour Full Coverage Foundation. I've really been enjoying this foundation. Um, I have a couple others. L'Oreal Pro Matte Pro Glow. L'Oreal Total Coverage. You can get high maintenance glam, full coverage glam with a lot of drugstore foundations. Um, so I'm going to use Not that much. That was a lot. So we'll see where we get with this. So I'm going to take my fingers. And I'm going to spread it on my face. Or dot it rather. Just like this. Yeah. This is definitely too much. I always pump too much. I'm going to take a foundation brush. And buff it in. Because I forgot to wet a sponge. 
always always <laughs> The shade I'm using in this foundation is 362 Truffle. Boom. Look at that coverage. Ah, oh, beautiful. Now, I get on a little We're going to go ahead with concealer. Now, this. Again, we highlight and contouring. Uh, we're doing everything. We're doing everything high maintenance. <laughs> um, and one of my favorite, I, this concealer, I have a lot of favorite drugstore concealers. Well, a lot of loves. But this one is a true, true favorite. Oh, my God. I feel like there's a hair in my eye. It has to be. It has to be. But I'm going to ignore it right now. Ultra Brand Full Coverage Concealer. This is the best concealer. It's waterproof. This is the best concealer that I, like, drugstore prices is $9 that gives me that super full coverage also brightening. The only thing is, I think they have some deeper shades, but at one point, this is deep warm, and this was the deepest shade that they had. So, but anyway. I'm gonna do, we're going straight Instagram glam with the concealer brightener what have you now when it comes to setting and doing all this you can bake uh, I'm not going to bake because it's in the evening and how did it last? Um, but this is the Makeup Revolution Luxury Baking Powder in Banana. It's a really good alternative to the Ben Nye Banana Powder. It's a really good powder. If you don't have time to bake, if you are doing this for practice and you don't need it, you know, don't want to waste your baking powder, um, or you just want something to set right away if you're not into baking, the Black Radiance True Complexion Soft Focus Finishing Powder. Um is balm.com. It gives a little bit of color, it adds a little bit more brightness, and it sets. So I'm going to set my under eyes with this. This is Golden Almond Finish, and I'm going to be really pretty generous with the powder when I set the under eye area. I like a good warm under eye area. And then the rest of the face, I'm going to set with the Black Radiance Soft Focus Finishing Powder in Milk Chocolate Finish. Favorite powder has been my favorite powders for years. If you watch my recent January favorites, I did an old favorites where I revisited these powders. I revisited my favorites and January 2015, 16th, um, it was when I first discovered these. And they were a favorite. They first debuted on my channel as favorites. So, this is what we're working with right now. It's what we're working with. It's a lot of makeup. I like it like that, though. <laughs> so, contour. Again, I'm going with Black Radiance. I'm going with favorites. These I can't recommend these products enough. This is the Black Radiance True Complexion Contour Palette. This is the medium to dark kit. I love this contour shade. And so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to contour my cheekbones as well as my forehead area. So, yo, whatever it is in my eye, I can't do. Alright, so we have our contour. We're almost done here. We're going to have our blush. We're going to put our blush on. Um, and I wanted a nice neutral blush, but I did want a little bit of shimmer in it. And can't recommend it enough. Can't recommend it enough. The NYX Ombre, Ombre Blush in Nude to Me. It's ombre because I've worn it down. It was lighter at the top, and it's um, darker at the bottom. And it's like this very pretty, um, peachy, rosy brown, if that makes any sense, uh, with a little reflective. It's some light particles in it. I wouldn't call it shimmer. It's a satin blush, but wait for the cheek to glow. Wait, wait for the cheek. 
Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. See that? Beautiful. So, these ombre brushes come in some bright shades, neutral shades. There's coral, there's purple, pink, fuchsia. So, everyone can find something. I'm not going to put any mascara on my lower lashes because with this dark under eye, I don't feel the need to. You can if you want. All right. Favorite part highlighter now I want to glow I want to really really glow so I'm going to do a two layer step I am going to start with a liquid highlighter and then I'm going to apply a powder highlighter so my liquid highlighter is the L'Oreal Wet n Wild Mega Glow Hello Halo liquid highlighter and this is the shade go with the glow so I'm actually going to put some on the back of my hand this is what it looks like and I'm going to take my ring finger and dab this on my cheekbone. And, right, and then I'm going to top that with a powder. And I'm using the Milani Strobe Light uh, Powder. Instant Glow Powder. This is shade 4 in Glowing. Yeah. So we're going to place that on, place that on, right over top of our, our um, cream highlight. Okay, and the face is done. We're going to, I'm going to spray the face because there was a lot of powder situation going on um and i'm just going to spray it with a uh, setting spray this is the maybelline master master fix um i am convinced that the l'oreal one which i love and the maybelline are the same thing i'm convinced same company so i'm just convinced i'm convinced check that glow out honey can't forget about a lip we're going to go with a warm brown lip. I actually just got this. Uh, this is the Wet n Wild Liquid Cat Suit in Caramel Cake. So I'm going to wear this one today. And there we have it. High maintenance glam using all drugstore products. It is possible... It is possible in a lot of ways other than these com this combination of products. But yeah, that's the look. If you like it, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. I never asked for likes, but you should, should like it. Uh, if you have any questions, comments, concerns about any of the products mentioned in the video, feel free to leave them down below. I love you all, and I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Bye.